Liu, Professor Liu, for your nice introduction. So now I say, let me start. Uh, I mean, before start, we should not forget, you know, the previous workers for this project. In fact, the basic framework is by Brandon uh, Buckland because he graduated but a couple of years ago. Then another visiting scholar, Ming-Ching Ming -Ching Liao, he continued to work. This, they two basically set up the Python framework for, the two, uh, for this uh, 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 package. Then after they left, I took over the job. My work mainly just to, uh, I mean, to implement post-processing and to refine the calculation because anyway, you know, code is coding is coding. Another way is another direction is that how to implement the, the implement the idea of physical idea. So I uh, perform some say when we have some calculation done, we should post-processing the data. So then we need the adding like a Professor Liu presented those. Uh, uh, some more dynamic, some more dynamic properties calculation. Of course, Professor Liu, he is the <laughs> major owner of this package. Uh, again, we would like to take this opportunity to thank NSF support, also the Materials Genome Foundation. Without the support, this go, this work cannot cannot be presented here. So before, because you are attending uh, me, I should thank you for all attendees to take your precious time to, for attending this workshop. So in the future, if you are, uh, you are, use, you are going to use this package, you can cite, cite the, this, uh, this work because we already have this work published in Carver Journal. The Carver Journal, you know, is a close, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's related to, you know, with the, uh, with this, uh, with job, with work. So before going on, I will see, because maybe you want, want to use this tool, this tool, we have uh, several references. We have online documentation. You, I will after this meeting, I mean, this workshop, I will this, can send this, I will upload this one to the, a workshop a workshop website this presentation because maybe after your comment maybe I make some change there. This uh, first is about this package is documentation. I we prepared it, you know use the red dog. You click the one. I will not click now because we want to save some time. Then we have examples how to run this package. Uh, basically for DFTK of course any you know any works just uh, uh, is uh, on the base of the previous work. In fact, the DFDTK is on the base of the previous work by materials G, uh, project. There are three packages there. One is called PyMagin, and associated with that is one is automate, another one is file work. So based on this work, we make this work and make this package possible. Uh, furthermore, now we are many people maybe already know the open source package based on Python or other language. So many people will based on that one further developed, like the present DFTTK is based on previous package like this three. If you want to do some contribution or just also develop your own package. So you can also do something like this one. Say so you can use some code, you can coding like Python coding, if you want free one. I would like to recommend the Microsoft Visual Studio Code. It's very easy to use, very convenient. Another one is that when we do a package, you know, make version control, you there is one quite nice, you call the GitHub desk, desktop. So you can control which version, even you, by our experience, if you make some change, you want to go back to previous version, you see what is not good or not good or the change, you can always manage your package by the GitHub. And also, when you finish like this uh, uh, package, you finish uh, package, you distribute it, then you need to 
uh, let the user to understand how to use it. In fact, this three options like this one, we use red dog, red to dog by this web link. Then they can uh, help you to prepare a very nice web uh, documentation. In fact, all the documents are saved in the package. Then this by this website, so uh, it's automatically generate the introduction. Maybe I should say, uh, give you some example here. So you click it. Maybe, okay, now because I'm using the presentation mode. So anyway, then another one to prepare some uh, uh, document, uh, documentation, you need some grammar there. Then this way, I would like to recommend you to use first by Markdown. Another one is just the, the uh, red structures text makeup, but mostly this one is more easy to use because this one close also implemented in the uh, Jupyter notebook. They are very easy to use, convenient because after, in fact, you see the flyers for this workshop. We prepared to use the Markdown uh, uh, language. Okay, now I just go to the basic summary of the DFDTK package today. First, we will summarize our work. In fact, a portion of our work, maybe about last 20 or 30 years of understanding Maybe that's a small portion we'd like to see because what, what is our observation? Then I will introduce a little bit about the DFTTK package. Here we we're talking about a little bit because now the, uh, the nowadays the package we will run something like a modular. Even with first, you know, to run a command, next the second option is by module. But this one how to how to how, what is more? I mean, what modules we included? So what's the workflow it means that how to start you prepare something then work how it works going on and also the the why for the structure optimization then I go to installation of the package then how it run I just maybe use about 20 pages that's 20 slide to induce it all but I don't want to make this very boring then also you want to set up your own uh, because this one also based on uh, your data management or job management, we use MongoDB. So by MongoDB, I will uh, uh, talk about a little bit more detail about that because that makes it very convenient, makes your computer calculation job summation independent. And also reference there, we already have that slide and summary. So here I want to see how to understand, how to understand TFT TF, TF, approach. By my experience, I always want to understand, like the one you see Professor Liu just presented, we learn by first the derivative. derivative. Uh, but by DFT calculation, in the early days, we want first the total energy. It's easy to understand than this quantity. Then you are, can understand the you know, other properties, like, uh, I mean, by the total energy, you can get from NG, like that's already needed by car from modeling or just the phase diagram calculation, also relative to phase stability. If you compare different phase, the energy difference or the Gibbs energy, Gibbs energy difference. Then the second derivative property is very important. Uh, like, like we have the, you know, this thermodynamics uh, equation, there are often, you know, in most cases, so in use first derivative. In fact, when we talk about the ritual, we not only uh, uh, the ritual against the coordinate in the Cartesian direction, also may reciprocal even occupation, you know, even for electronically talking about each orbital, the, uh, how many electrons occupy that orbital. So this I include, I, I would like to summarize, summarize it in such a way. So the very generalized one So we have even the second one, you know, for the case, for the reciprocal space case, you see, we get a lot of fancy electronic pro properties. You again see occupation of a space orbital, you get, you see, a uh, uh, band structure. Then you get so-called, you find the insulator or other property, even optical properties. Then we can go to second order derivative. Second order derivative is like, you see, typically we got the, the fourth constant, then hold the elastic constant. 
And based on that one, that one we can calculate the phono properties with a phono. Then we see we can get the finite, the finite, finite temperature uh, material materials property like some expansion in heat capacity or all, all those kind of properties. Even can furthermore, we can do something like prediction for the uh, elastic property depending on temperature. Then in case space, we can also other properties. We have several paper that when about talking about the conductive properties or even some uh, coefficient for say thermal electric materials. Furthermore, in fact, we have, can also make a third order derivatives. That means something like an harmonic effect. Now these required frontiers. Also some other kinetic properties like phonolize and electronic, uh, electron relaxation time. That's majorly for the conductive. See, you want to calculate the electric conductivity of the materials or other properties. So basically, some famous person, where no person said, when you read a book, where beginning maybe have one thousand page, but finally you can you should summarize everything in half page. So this start almost half page of our understanding about the DFT approach. Of course, you want to make more detailed understanding this stuff. A lot of derivatives there, even first order derivative, and second one is more, but maybe all together maybe have hundreds different kind of properties. In fact, you add many of other simulations. You see this coefficient, any other coefficient, mostly is related to first derivative or second order derivative. Okay, here does we go back to the, uh, the case for DFTTK package. By DFTTK package, majorly implemented for the finite temperature uh, materials property prediction based on the vibrational. Uh, uh, energy contribution to free energy. So basically we can write the free energy because in the uh, current uh, first first principles package, mostly we use, we know the lattice parameter. That means we know volume. In that case, we the best uh, thermodynamic function will be the Helmholtz free energy, uh, energy. So we use the volume and temperature. Of course, here I done, uh, didn't write them before simplicity. I don't neglect the number of particles. So basically, first includes three fundamental terms. The first one to regulate it, we see the last one just total energy, zero k calculation. This one without even without without considering the uh, zero point vibration. You know that's the very fundamental phenomenon of, of quantum material, you know quantum effect of effect crystal. I mean, second one includes the vibrational energy. This one just due to light vibration. This is mostly called phono, but I I'll either can do calculation use phono approach, not phono like this package already provide provide function uh, for phono calculation. Also, that phono calculation is a function of volume. So then we can get many fancy property. But that's why it's called because this is a time, uh, volume dependent. So this is called uh, also under second order. Uh, uh, approximation that using second order derivative of the total energy again atomic position. So that's why it's called quite a harmonic approach. But look like the prediction quite good. The third one is based on the finite the finite temperature DFT approach, basically attributed to Murmi. That one we can account the, the electronic contribution to the free energy, a high host free energy. Then sometime we are we may handle the problem like a random phase with disordered phase. So here also we are implemented the a calculation based on the so-called uh, some structure called select or the crazy harmonic, a crazy a random uh, structure to mimic the effect for random yellow. So that's basically the idea missing entropy. So basically, some you know we can already can predict the many different kind of uh, uh, property of a crystal phase. Okay, so here is the package framework. By such uh, framework, it's amazing is that you first you need this uh, among DB server easily. You can see purchase one from like Amazon or in my case we use. 
In our case, we use the Penn State virtual machine. In fact, you don't need a, a whole computer. You don't need a very small computer. Here, we currently, we only pay about four cores for computer a storage a few hundred gigabytes. That yearly payment does about hundred dollar. But that way, you can can make your work, you know, the work very independent. So you can submit a job from your PC, then you run a job from other supercomputer. So the, uh, the MongoDB service, I mean, this data database, both store the, your job flow or also your result after your, your calculation. In fact, so make this very convenient. You can go anywhere in the world. You can, once upon you have any access to a computer, you can some job, submit a job there and the, a run job in another supercomputer. I already tested, we already tested this framework by job submission. See, we submit job from PC, from Mac, and then do a calculation from the supercomputer. We have many other different computers. So this is our framework. So this MongoDB database manages of the job flow and the result. Then you can run, say, you buy your PC. Now I will get used to PC. Of course, you can also make post analysis for the thermal dynamic properties. Properties, even you use Jupyter notebook server anywhere, even you in a hotel, you have something have there about you have a, a website. You can see loading some uh, 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 service like you, as long as pro, they provide Jupyter notebook server, they can there you can install DFDTK and access your data. In fact, Jupyter notebook is very convenient. Because in some even supercomputer, maybe some package not installed because this one depends on a lot of other package. Then, but Jupyter notebook, by my experience using it, is very, very robust. Almost you don't need to install some uh, dependent package by yourself. The, the summary is that by the using this package, you in principle you only prepare, need to prepare the so-called structure file. This structure file you don't know how to prepare. You can go to some website like material, materials project. You can download the, the structure. Then, then you can submit a job. If then you can just uh, submit another job to run this, to run the possible uh, uh, DFT job. I want to mention that currently DFTTK only support WASP, that's very, uh, I mean, very, very no package. In the future, by this same framework, it will also very easy, convenient if some other package like quantum threshold or window k can be supported is in our plan. So here is an example, uh, test you about what is called workflow. Basically, by DFTTK package, just when it's one example, you prepared some structure like from some web website you can uh, name the say one what temperature range to calculate uh, to get some dynamical properties and how many we want some kind of deformation you may want to do some calculation for uh equation state say several several volumes because we are performing to be to for, to perform the calculation for the uh, some uh, quite a harmonic calculation. We want to predict it is some temperature volume depend on I mean thermal expansion. Basic idea is that once when you have the structure prepared, we will go you go to the step of so called we call it robust optimization. Basically, we will first find the equilibrium volume because if a initial gas maybe the structure you don't know experimental structure uh, roughly you know the structure but you don't know the density of some other stuff then we the the, uh, the code package can make a prediction for find try to find the best volume by server flow then <clears throat> this procedure including find relax they see if the face is stable or not or the structure is stable now stable or not if the high temperature phase then we see like this step, we try to to, uh, to monitor, to check EV curve. Basically see if the, what you find the, the, the structure you find there, if it's true, correct or not. Because by our experience is that we usually do a same volume calculation. If the fitting of the curve is nice, then it's good. Otherwise, 
if you do a single point calculation, it's still very possible you get a mistake there. And in this step, again, we go to the relaxation again, go to the loop again. You really find structure convergent. See, that is the false impulse to individual ions very small. See, less than 0 0.001 electron volt on strong, then we go to a calculation to a high accurate energy calculation, say zero k is, is called static energy. Then we can, you have option to funnel calculation because we are doing calculation, see our typical case, we have seven volumes, then you can do seven volume funnel calculation. In fact, don't be afraid of funnel calculation. By this step, find the best equilibrium volume and find the curve and relax the individual structures. This process takes quite a longer time sometime. But this funnel calculation, because we can use uh, 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 less dense the k mesh, this calculation time cost very comparable to this step. Then we check the result there again, see with convergent, see we do same volume if they, we with this temperature, temperature range is covered. This the volume is covered. This uh, temperature range. If no, go back to extend it to expand the volume or use a small volume to more calculation or go, go back. So after this done, then if the result runs okay, then we out, output the result to the MongoDB de uh, database. Again, this process first one say that first we submit job submit job to MongoDB data server. Then we have calculation done, the result also sell back the MongoDB server. Because this MongoDB server is very independent, then you can go anywhere to get your old results, do a possible analysis. We also tried by this possible analysis to produce very nice picture. It's all already in the uh, precision uh, accuracy that can be already to be used if you want to do some publication or papers. Then we talk a little bit more detail. Nowadays, if you run a package or want to distribute a package, you always do something like in you by different module. In fact, here is that run DFTK, you need two things. First, DFTK, this does the they tell the you know your system is that run DFTK. Then you run different module for different purpose. For this run means you submit the job to the MongoDB. You have the postcard prepared. Then this just this one just see when you in the state of install uh, DFTTK package installation you set up in some environment. You see where the uh, uh, where is MongoDB? You know where is the, you want to store the result? What's the user control? You know sometimes you want now the many hackers you want to control different people. Then you have some function. We have some function to manage the MongoDB DB, uh, database. Sometimes when you perform a calculation. You maybe maybe need to have several tries. So one the best one, you want to save only the best one in the database, so you can just delete some the one for the previous calculation. Then this three does uh, this three, this uh, part I mentioned by majorly by uh, uh, Brandon and uh, Ming Qing, but this, this three by me because this one I want to post. Uh, uh, some dynamic, uh, some dynamic, uh, well, dynamic analysis like funnel calculation, like all the, the bunch of about 20, even 30 different uh, thermodynamic properties, even the thermal electrical properties there. Then here does this module made for the purposes. So to check your database, how many calculations you are done. Then the next one just say, check the EV curve because make the most the fundamental check if the EV curve is better or not. If you close the pool, then we will not go go for go next the step calculation. This one just give you a rough look of your results already finished in your know, database. So to use this package after installation, I in after this present presentation in the hand down practice stage, I use Jupyter notebook. Then use that one. I uh, talk a bit more detail about how you spec. Basically, like we use we follow. The convention usually when you run a command, you just have what modules there, now what uh, uh, target this one, CTFTK, TH fund, or something like module, we use the module to have what is the option of a command. And that's okay. Then we mentioned about this workflow like this one, we implement quite a different workflow. 
So we have uh, do the EOS. Sometimes the fundamental one, you, where you have calculation, you mostly you see many uh, publication, they print it by energy against total energy curve. So this one just the load fitting because the so-called by the first principle of calculation, you will not do like the one the analytical form, you have whatever you have point, you have the energy. In our experience, we just see we do calculate for seven or eight points and fit this by, by some kind of analytical uh, uh, function, then you this is called the EOS fitting, equation of state. Then this one already see robust uh, workflow. This is the one I mentioned is this one. Then we have also I did, in that one I, we can also perform after finish the final calculation, even even curve calculation. I also can do calculation for elastic properties as function say seven volume. Then we can get temperature dependent on elastic support elastic property. The next one is calculated about uh, you know the electrical property. This one just bone effect charge. This one is very important. If you want some kind of property for the insulator of polar materials, that one for no dispersion or other property need this uh, uh, quantity. Then here, just the, well, for the fast calculation, I also implemented this uh, workflow. Basically, that will sometimes you want fast calculation, you want don't want to do calculation for this multi volume. Then I just do single volume calculation. The next one is still under developing. Such a way that when you submit the job to MongoDB, sometimes you would only want to run job in a single machine. But this one is said, as long as you submit job to the MongoDB, then any job, any computer you have access, once upon you, you know, uh, launch your job, the uh, DFTK job there, they will go back, go to the MongoDB database. So you can run a single job. Sometimes say you have same volume, then because then can have same machines, some different supercomputers run the same DFTTK jobs. So here we have some quick uh, guide for how to install uh, DFTTK. The instruction here in the our oh, I, maybe I should go back to the I should. So here I see I still need to go back to web link. So this is just we have the uh, domain name, the, the quick guide or, or complete uh, instruction will be in this web, web documentation. Oh, didn't go there, sorry. Okay, maybe something wrong there. So we can always go back, uh, go there. The installation is that basically requirement is that first in Linux environment, maybe in Jupyter Notebook, you don't need to install the Anaconda. In otherwise, even Mac or PC by default, they may not have that one. Sometimes installation is more easier in Mac, but sometimes you, you can follow the web into uh, there, the uh, in, uh, download and installation instructions there. Then, you, the, for this general requirement, then you can install just the, basically if you want to install the FTK for the release version, you can just simply after you install the Anaconda, you can just use pipe install this version option. This does the release version. If sometimes, you know, uh, during this workshop, sometimes you have always, you know, fair, you know, packed, you sometimes you may have some bugs there. So I have some bug. Uh, fixing due to feedback from the user. So you can just go uh, download the develop, develop version using Git tool. The Git tool is very important, very, uh, very good uh, uh, package manager tool. Is that why you, as mentioned, that you can have a good version control. You, if you make changes, doesn't matter. You can always go back to previous version. You can just, you know, and change it from different version, then can check. Uh, uh, make a comparison that's very convenient. Then you can do install locally for the uh, developer version. Furthermore, like uh, in this, you can even install the our internal test version. In fact, this in this presentation in this workshop, I would just use the internal test version because 
when you run this by more and more users are using a toolkit, you can always have some bugs and also requirements from a user. So you can copy to, to my, from my you know, GitHub uh, 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 there, then can copy, make clone that one to your local machine and inspect the same way. Install it. Then this two command does you as mentioned, you can go to different uh, branch and different, that means different version, then you can change. You can then go back and forth to uh, the Arduino version and go to whatever is it is today or tomorrow. Or, in fact, I, I create many different branch there. And then you can even make a fork about that when it's some knowledge about uh, uh, the uh, GitHub management. You can learn more. If I have some question want to learn that, right, you can always you are always welcome to contact me. I, I'm also learning. I learned this one from like the organizer, uh, Richard Ortiz. I also learned a lot from like Ming Qing and learned from a lot, lot of branding. So then after you install the DFDTK, then you need to set up a little bit. Sorry is that, you know, this little bit complicated. You need to set up environment. This is one because we are just <laughs> not very enough person working on this one. So, you know, this one not like the very commercial uh, uh, package where just one, the one type, the one line command to install everything. But this is not because at least you see that one, we need MongoDB server. I will need some kind of a different machine, run different P, uh, batch job managed system. So here are just some example that we I have, have access, like Corey from NERSC and from Penn State, you know, a raw machine a supercomputer, and then that one from Exit. Uh, the two, in fact, Exit now called uh, Gasset. And also you need to control which version Y, which what version you want Y, what five or six. So this is for the purpose. Also, you want to get some structure. As mentioned, that uh, you don't know how to make structure, so you can download structure for a material project. So there, you can go to there. Have that like, you have your own API key. You you want to know it, then you can always contact them or go to their website. Then uh, have a DFTK has some connection with the uh, material product, uh, the materials project. So how to run an example? Run DFTK. You can always, we also prepared a, a example like the in this workshop. Then you can go there again. You can just you know, get a clone and copy them from there. And again, we also prepared an online documentation that I mentioned that use Markdown uh, grammar or even RST uh, grammar. So we prepared this one. Just you can just go there because you when you prepare the package you just need to write some kind of local text file. So this online document, documentation automatically based on our package is very convenient. So then lastly, you want to perform some kind of DFTK calculation, DFT calculation, then you run this command, say using robust workflow. By default, in fact, it's robust workflow. Then you have say your postcard file, your launch your job. This one means you only launch your job, a single job to your MongoDB. Next one, you can run multiple, so you have multiple postcard file, multiple different structure. This you see, you see, sometimes you need a code to this, this too. but anyway, some multi structure to the workflow. Then this does job, DFTTK job submission. Then you go load into the computer, supercomputer. You, that one has WASP installed. Then you, you, you can either submit a single job or you can submit multi job there. So also, but this one just everything has the default. If you have, <coughs> if you want to make some changes, you also have many apps, different options. Sometimes like this one, you want the job only that machine can run, one machine can run, can run large job, another machine can run small job. So this is some setting in your default. It is not, DFTK run needs two files. One is the postcard, another one called settings. This is in the YAML format. So you can see choose different machine or different, the, in the machine, in different machine, this one called workers. Uh, or the, I mean the 
five workers there. In there, you can uh, make some uh, uh, different uh, configure set uh, setup, either run what five or what six, or just small job, small queue. Sometimes you know you don't want to say you want when queue run 128 calls. You maybe want small job run about 16 calls, even just two calls. So this one you can define there. Then you also sometimes you have magnetic structure, the antiferro magnetic structure. So you can define it for based on the perimeter unit cell, you give the magnetic arrangement. Now also you can control, you know, uh, get user control, say you want what kind of the parameter, the vast parameter, what is relax, uh, relaxation settings. Like the fact, say you have the force conversion to bar 0 0.05 on strong per uh, electron volt per on strong. And how many roughly K mesh in reciprocal space? Then you do higher, higher because for relaxation time, this stage, you need a, this time consuming. Sometimes you need a less K mesh. Then you can go back to for more accurate uh, settings for the static calculation for final uh, UV curve or US calculation. You can see increase and it cut off. Maybe here I should use about 4,000 or 8,000. Then also you can change some other parameters like a parameter, like you uh, you want to see some kind of when the interaction and also want some uh, other uh, setting change the different exchange correlation potential, different pseudo potential. <clears throat> then also you want to follow calculation, you can how to transform the primitive unit cell to supercell. Also here, also we have some kind of practice for the DFT calculation. We have some observations that experience that for a cubic system, <coughs> if your initial primitive cell use some primitive cell, you know the cubic becomes some uh, <laughs> some kind of uh, room hydro structure. Then you need head beta for phonal calculation, make a super cell transformation to the cubic. That's the case. In our case, for cubic system. We just try try to choose, you know, the one for the Romhedo structure with the cubic one. This is just for cubic system. We need to pay a little bit attention. This one already observed by the materials project. <clears throat> so here are just some example to access the result. First, if you have some calculation done already in the database, again in the uh, uh, practice using Jupyter notebook, I show that one. You can always get first get all your finished calculation, get the UV curve. This one quite fast because each one maybe the couple second. You have maybe thousands, hundreds UV curve there. You can pick up all the best one to write paper. Then checked all the finished final calculation in your database. Then can use this command. This use this module. In fact, we already into the module if we find the module or thermal property find a module. Uh, then you find some module, then you can also have another option so like this one, DFTK. You want to get, you know, download the result to your local machine. Then you want to uh, see here, maybe using some Wi-Fi, but they add extra. You, my phone package is written by me, but if you don't have that one, you should not have this option. That's where I finish your phone pack. Then you see, you want all, not just basic conversion, all, compound with aluminum and nickel included. You want all those sub-category calculation, get the result. Maybe you can see maybe 10 or 20 of them there. Also, we can also download just post-processing when single, uh, when single compound, that's also you have a function. Then you have automatically plot the, the thermal dynamic properties. Some other options see you want also sometimes want to just using the Gilbert model, see what is your result. Again, you can use such option because it's something that's called the person ratio or other properties using different uh, Gunson parameter for the Gilbert model. Again, sometimes you find the result, the UV curve not very smooth, you can force fitting the the zero key and it again volume curve, make your result more better. Even sometimes you have to get some errors because it's always sometimes you have a so you get temperature very high. 
divide the OC the that material because sometimes they you want to calculate the aluminum. But the maximum temperature is that 900 Kelvin something, 33 mean, but you calculate by by your default setting is 2000. The calculation give you pseudo relaxity, the calculation failed, failed, but not failed. Still can, by DFTTK, you still get what I will finish the result there. Again, fitting. Sometimes you want a, a, a popular paper. So also, also in DFTTK, post processing, you want to make some plot, then you can always uh, attach DFTK to attach the experimental measurement data to your plot. Sometimes the FTK want to save time. You finish the calculation already. You want the second time, the FTK will tell you you should not do that one, except you want to renew the calculation. That's a renew calculation for post-processing. Uh, of course, you can always delete that folder, then calculation can be done first. So here is some example we published in the CARFA journal. So we just use this last command here, like this one. And using the one for C with the aluminum. Maybe this one use you don't need this Python uh, limit py option. This you again use our uh, phone pack to use Wi Fi. But if you want to install uh, follow instruction in, in the our web doc documentation, you're welcome. So you can there this our Wi Fi package have a lot of fancy functions there. So here does uh, we have can have some invention aluminum. Or others, this older three like here, key capacity. But with you, if you using uh, Wi-Fi package, you can also get nice plot from the density state and also the from the depression. Uh, the format to prepare the experiment data like this one is still this one is called the, the dictionary Python disk dictionary. You have first author, you know, I have also list and the <clears throat> the compound, the list that a full list of also and also a journal, and what data is there. This data set is something like a two column, in fact, it's some kind of two column data. When it's about the temperature, and so another one is this linear circumvention. So you see 5K linear circumvention and 50K circumvention coefficient. The same. And then this next one is about the heat capacity. Again, temperature, heat capacity, temperature, heat capacity. So make the one your plot easier. And also we have, you know, for each package, but you can <laughs> always sometimes make trouble when you first use a package. So we also prepare the uh, prepare the web uh, the troubleshooting. Right here, the category in the uh, our web documentation. We have a lot of instructions. I mean, we by our, our experience, we summarize the most easy, I mean, most uh, uh, often mistake, maybe errors the user can make, commit. So we have several useful. Even see the Pamaji or Conda, you know, and the Conda, they have their own uh, bugs, so hard to solve them. Then sometimes you have some other failure. So tell you really, because you run something like a DFT calculation, you always have some problem. You you know, I mean, now some you, you cannot expect it. Like a job, you submit a job, a very long time, cannot finish. For some reasons, even no reasons, your job just failed there. Then you can submit the job. But that one, I would, uh, I think in the practice state, I'll tell you that one. But here, even, yeah. That is our summary. The summary is that we finally have this workshop. We have a TFTK, the version 0 0.4, 0 0.34 there. Then this uh, TFTK can work on Windows, Mac. In my side, I tried also uh, test the TFTK in Windows operating system, also Mac, uh, I mean Mac, um, it's an Apple OI system, also most Linux system. That's why I perform most calculation. We also prepared uh, one examples, the examples. Then in the, uh, you have a link. Sometimes if I have a permanent DOI link, then include uh, the old uh, aluminum or no aluminum nickel binary system. And then also we perform some kind of random solution phase calculation there. By this, you can, there, 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 in fact, we, 
uh, we have you can download the all input file in output file. Now here we have some kind of features of DFTK just rough summary. So if you have in principle, you can just submit one single command, prepare the you know setting and the structures. Then you have then you can have your uh, first DFT based first the principal prediction for all the properties. Uh, I think also include maybe for your report something you need this one can also uh, automatically plot a lot of figures. Mostly, I think by our experience, most useful figures there. Also, DFTK may strictly if you have some calculation job calculation to bar half finished, then you can still extract the result from half finished calculation. I think I should stop here. And if I have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Okay, uh, so are you going to take a break now or? Oh yeah, take a break. We need about 15 minutes of Take a minutes. break and now you come back, uh, come back to install the, the, the use of use the Jupyter notebook, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I Here, um, some installation instructions and other reference materials. Um, we did prepare some uh, additional uh, uh, Installation instructions for your reference, so that if you, uh, you know, we hope that you will deploy DFTTK on your own uh, hardware in the future. Uh, um, so you will have that information. There will be a follow-up email after the workshop uh, to provide you um, with those information. Anyway, we'll we can have another conversation about that later. But uh, anyway, enjoy your break. Great, thanks, Richard. Everybody, if you look at it, if you, if you look at it, the the chat, the chat. And uh, Richard has put this information there to upload to the cloud. So where you are taking the break and we get time, you can start to load that uh, cloud into your system. And you just use your email address and then you will get a login information uh, sent to that email. The, the the command of the uh, Linux, you can check what's there. Also, some other material, most modern, the major material was in the fold of so called workshop. You can see there. So, there, you first maybe you need to copy the uh, Jupyter notebook uh, script from the mater materials folder. I'll copy the M there. So now in there, then you can, oh, is that right? Yeah, here. Then you click it. So you tell, this will tell you, show you <clears throat> the Jupyter Notebook uh, script. Here I see, because you know, in, in present case for this uh, server, where they have, uh, we don't need that any code. And the corner. But if you want to install this one to different your local computer, maybe you need this one and the corner. Uh, but if you in your machine, in your computer already have it installed, then already it should be already have a Jupyter Notebook server. Then it's to how to install DFTTK. Then there are two ways to install it. One just directly in this notebook server. But sometimes you install that one, you need some kind of Linux command. So maybe I suggest you can just say like this one, we do open a server, open a terminal like we did here. Maybe I close, close this one. Maybe I close this one. I just want this, this step. So new terminal. Let me check where it is right now. Okay. Uh, first, maybe you, uh, again, I already because Richard already installed GCC. Sometime in Jupyter Notebook, Notebook Server, we need GCC because some dependent package need uh, the, this uh, GCC to for say for phone number. But this one we don't need. Then because we want to demo this one for the developer version, developer also offer uh, the version. So we want I want yeah. to copy. Uh, when the question, Dr. Wang, your um. 
your your clone is already installed. We 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 pre-installed that for you. Uh, so but this already... one I try to. Uh, so, well, I know you, you already installed that one, but this one I just want to demonstrate how to install the very beginning. Of course, the user can do it already installed, but that one only needs set up the configuration. This one I want to instruct them how to install the installation step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I great. know. Yeah, this one does. I know this one. Your your one is already installed. See, if right now, you know, we the DFT uh, because already pre-installed. This, this no, it's this is one all the hyper works. But this one uh, because I want to learn step how to uh, install the DFT in the beginning. In case you fail, they cannot do it. Then you can use pre-installed one. So first you can do see the copy. DFTK from the Reno one from my, uh, I mean my GitHub link. In fact, you can copy paste one. Right? Oh, no, no, this one not right. I didn't copy correctly. And it's here, instructing like this one. Go to this folder. Then do pipe install. That install, you know, the developer version. This, this, oh. I type wrong command, sorry. Yeah, they finished. Then next step, uh, you need to set up the environment. So basically there you need to set up a two. One is about WASP pseudo potential. So make the folder called the WASP. I use this name. I use this name. Maybe I copy two lines. Maybe I say for saving for, for, for saving time, I do all step together. Let's go to make sure go back to your home folder. In fact, that called paste. Then it's done. The next step you need to set up the environment. First, you need to copy either you produce the run this code to produce the to prepare you know, to, to get the the MongoDB some kind of user uh, credential. You send this one to your MongoDB server. Oh, your MongoD server manager can do this one for you. For example, you run this one. In fact, this, this one just demo because this one just you default. You run this code. If you are want to install DFTK configure configuration, you do something like this way. You run this one, produce some uh, file. But you, because the one I already for, for you to access, I already run this command. I already have set up your user control to our MongoDB server. So you just simply copy two files. I see instructs here. The two five one is dbjson, another one is called the uh, uh, how to launch your job, how to connect your you know workflow to save your uh, jobs to the MongoDB server. So you copy the file already you know in the in the material in the materials folder there. So you go back to the output folder, go to here if you have one do some setup configuration. You set up, then you create a, create a, a config folder. Because this one for, for the purpose to set up your DFTTK configuration. You can go, go to any anywhere, not even in this folder. Because if you say you didn't follow this step to install DFTTK, because well, DFTTK is already installed, you can also even go to your home folder, uh, set up a config. But this one I just use this, this, kind of, this uh, uh, folder. Then you copy two file from the uh, from the uh, folder. You know you already maybe or in the materials folder. Copy the two file. One is the dbjson. Put the config folder. Now that one is called the uh, my lunch. That also in the in the subfolder of the. I think in workshop folder because I separate one sometime. You know for safety.
Then you go to the last set half, finish the set half of the environment of DFTTK. <clears throat> so I raise run this command. This time you just here default I use the Cori, the Cori you know, uh, environment example because in your case they always need to make some changes there to set up the DFTK environment because for different machine people we may install was in different folder, different place. You need a, the you ask your you know supercomputer system manager ask them for where the, uh, your wasp installed or even ask them for the where the wasp uh, super potential saved but this one just say set up the environment you see this one finish your setup but although it's tell some error because you cannot find the the something for we did because this one does see a job summation. This error you can just neglect it because I didn't use here use material material project uh, that uh, uh, PMG key. So then you can list last check if the configuration finished or not set up is okay. So you see here all the files here because in don't know when I copy this uh, dbjson to database maybe I can see cat that one that you see. It. What is the content there? there. So this basically set you about the password to which collection, something like that. Also, oh, sorry. How to your database? Because this one basically see to save your DFTTK job there. And this DFA job will literally in your other supercomputer uh, launch the WASP job. They will use this credential to access the job. Now others like, uh, so they automatically other three you know, files like Q adapter and F worker and this configuration automatically uh, by the module of uh, configure. Uh, this one already know, you already know it. Here that one list there, what is look like the file. So they basically set up what is <clears throat> module load. You know, if you have some experience running was you will need some kind of environment to run was <clears throat> then what is requirement there? How, how much memory and what is was command? Like here just appear. But this one just for the for in fact, for this uh, Jupyter notebook, you don't need it. But if you want to install DFTK in your supercomputer, because to run DFTK, you need to install one is your local computer. Computer, oh, just uh, install DFTK in your uh, remote uh, supercomputer. The tile how to run what command. You need to change this part because different. Again, I want to repeat that for different supercomputer, they have different settings using different. Uh, uh, backdrop managed system. In this case, most you know reason why we be the Slurm, Slurm, but some others like Pandate, we are still using PBS. Some other place you can listen to regular command to run. Uh, but, but also, as mentioned, you can also give some definition here. <laughs> See some category, you can give its name, then this job may be only run your some job to that category. For more detail about the category, you can search for material project there. The, I mean, the fireworks there. They see can assign specific job to run the specific, specific supercomputer and specific uh, number of number of core or something, a specific queue there. So this is fundamental part. Another one is that list your configuration because that might tell the system where search your this configure file, the configure, configure saturation and uh, settings. This is this file. This automatic generate. So basically, tell a path, see where you see your configure folder. This one put your URM inside dot CSHRC or BSHRC there. Then this where the, again, the file work uh, uh, workflow there. And also this your, uh, worker and your queue adapter. Then go back here. Oh, somebody's setting. Okay. 
So this here, just this example there. But this one automatically also makes some file here for the, uh, if you using, want to use some kind of pipe manager or material, material protector environment, this automatically created after your uh, DFTT configure module, right? Then if you want to run DFTTK just in the environment of this, uh, this server, I mean the Jupyter notebook part, you can run, you should run this way, just try run this module. Basically, you just click here and then click play. Then this done. Then maybe you'll see you can either, you know, again, you prepare this file we needed. Either you can copy this file from the example one or just create it by your hand. In my case, I just want to see, go to your hub folder, then uh, create this folder by hand. Again, copy paste. I want to keep, you know, uh, keep the file in different folder parts. You see here. Then copy. In fact, I'm copied the, the one from. Oh, let me see. Oh no, they were already saved in the in the material there. Uh, this that one the, the for aluminum aluminum nickel in this folder. Oh, not fine. Maybe here. Well, maybe I need to find it sometime. Find it. Yeah, here I think this example. Yeah, I see here. So I'll copy the file from the aluminum, aluminum nickel binary. There I should have a postcard file there. Maybe I also need to copy the settings there. If we use Linux command, say cat, you'll see postcard. That's the one, like you see, well, just a few lines here, you see here. The data for the aluminum nickel and the settings here, you want to see it. You can make a change also later. Then that almost last step here to run TFTTK. So basically run this command now, again, because sometimes you will change the folder, change the folder, you forgot where is you. So you can always come run this one, go to still go to your home folder, then the uh, this folder aluminum, aluminum nickel and submit your DFTK job to the server. That's almost done, say. See, that means you already done. Now you are the DFTTK job already submit to the MongoDB database. Then sometime you want to check if the job really submitted there to the database. Then run this command. Again, if you run the terminal, you don't need this 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 simple the symbol. You just need to run this iPad. This does the, the one for the from automate of uh, primary uh, or material project. In this case, you just simply click, click, play. Then you tell what job finished or done. In fact, for prepare these uh, uh, materials, I will ask some many job there. The one means C means or finished. And this one, you see, because this in morning, I protect, practice this one again. Then it's to, right now, uh, try some this one again to see you have job ready. Then you if then you need <clears throat> you can just submit your DFT job DFTK. I mean, what job in another supercomputer? Uh, in a computer to run that won't be later. Uh, will be some uh, some other place later. And like here, submit your job in your supercomputer. Then. The job, the job will run there. But this time in this tutorial, 
this uh, practice will not write. I will not write. <coughs> then for general options using this, this one is very useful command, the LPAD, because this one can help you monitor the job. If job finished, you can restart it. A lot of functions there. In fact, you can just always try some help function there. You can tell your heart what's the option, a lot of options by your command. Then you can try, you know, by DFTK, you can find from a database to check what job finished already. That run this cell. This is run this module. See, I tell you that you see, I, for this workshop, I will prepare some calculation in the database, finish calculation. This clock or tag, run by this tag, you can uh, get the thermodynamic properties. So for example, I want to see use this one. I see want to get the result for this tag. Maybe I should copy some any randomly. This one from one SQS calculation, but this one from the calculation, maybe I think already in the database. So I maybe just use this one. This one is for the 4F, right? Uh, 4F. Yeah, this one for the pure nickel one. I show the example, pure nickel. Then you want to get some more dynamical, some more dynamical properties. This one take about a couple of minutes to get it, you know, to download all the data from the database, do a, do a calculation for the uh, uh, integral integration about the electronic density of state. Now here, Terry will find this tag because, you know, for, you can just see, in such a way using this tag, you can just see, let the DFTK find the, that calculation by this very specific tag because some even same, Kind of your structure may you may have several quite different calculations there. Then this give you more information. See there what is structure, and what uh, magnet even tell you by magnetic moment there. Then they have find out how many volume finish by the calculation seven volumes. What is the zero k energy? This integration. Oh, this done already. Oh, almost done. Seems almost done. This one see, but fitting the thermodynamical properties with some kind of uh, SG, I mean, SGT function. I think, do I have here? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, I have a cloud function. Then you can go back with the automatically created, created a folder here in your home one. You can click it. I here, you know, automatically, first maybe I show some result. Here, this file showing your thermal dimension. If for the material not isotropic, then you have thermal dimension like HCP. Then I show you this one, give a list, you see here, volume thermal dimension coefficient along different directions. In fact, right now, right now thermal dimension coefficient there. And this is most another fundamental one. Say so you have a property that lives by more than around 20 something. This column is the number of column, temperature, volume, free energy, entropy, enthalpy, so much dimension, coefficient, heat capacity, uh, constant pressure, constant volume. Another one is the latest contribution for the heat capacity and back modulus, double temperature, something like electronic contribution, electron entropy, and et cetera. Also, some kind of thermal dynamic, I mean, thermal electric properties, spec coefficient, Lorentz number. This is just the ratio between the electrical conductivity against the electric uh, electron thermal conductivity. And so, on. even something like for thermal conductor, is what is the, the whole concentration, I mean, whole electron, and the, what is the you know, electron contribution, and so on. Sometimes this one just see sometimes if the calculation is not very smooth, then they also try to wait to smooth the result. And then here some this one for later, if you want to do something further, here download the result there. But uh, because this one just for if you install the Wi-Fi package, then can do further calculation. Then we can go back at these uh, the figures there. See at least about the 20 figures there. So here, you just click here, you get you will curl, this nice fitting. Another one, maybe see the entropy, right? And maybe I see the full, cons uh, 
here I have plot of a different temporal range, so different the heat capacity. This, of course, is constant volume, is constant pressure. Sometimes we have a thermal estimation coefficient. This is this uh, uh, nickel. Sometimes other properties, thermal electric property, but this one is not thermal electric materials. The prediction is number is quite small, somewhere small. For well, typical thermal electric, the electrical uh, materials, this number will be several hundred. So a lot of these properties there, this uh, OI inequality also can be published. Well. For others, you maybe have other options like uh, the run other one. I will not go through here because you can try and make another one. You can try to practice by yourself, some is job. Then, of course, you can follow here. You can try to, uh, by this command, you change the tag here, see what is the result for you. Yeah, this one does it finish after you submit the DFTK job to the MongoDB server, you want to run it. Then just see you submit it up there. You need this. This is the case, at least Sarah tell you about by this uh, script, tell you how to install DFTK in multiple computers. The purpose, you see, oh, I see, make change some kind of. This is just the original text. They've been marked down. It's very simple. Use Markdown uh, uh, style there. See that this is punk uh, punctuation symbol here. Then this title, in fact, let me correction. Then see what is show. Lastly, you just click there. This is the final. If you prepared your package, this uh, save this in the GitHub. Then finally, you should read the doc. Read doc will read this <laughs> document that showing your web page. Uh, here, that I will get some notes there. When you by that way, here, when you see submit job here by this cell, the mean the only submit job already to the MongoDB server. Uh, I go back there. I mean, this command only to there. This job, you see, this job, your job numbers there. Let me see this four. starting from. Four six eight four hundred six eight two six eight seven. So you check your dust summit job, you get your list here. And sometimes you because this case I didn't mention about the MongoDB server. You want set up because sometimes you want to run, run your job, you need always set up the MongoDB server. Here I use Penn State virtual machine. Need a little bit about the Linux knowledge, but not very difficult. I learned quite just a few a few hours. I asked this manager. So here the in where you know where uh, documentation quite uh, give you very detailed instruction how to set up because you in such a way you know you have some operation you set up then basically you hire I mean rent a machine in the web. Uh, Server like maybe from Amazon, they can you set as I say for Linux environment how many storage how many scores when you see one buy something make about a couple hundred dollars, then you have the MongoDB server, MongoDB server installed there, then you can do some operation. I the user like the time prepare the the user for this workshop. I do something like this one. First, you set up something like a super user for Linux system management. Then this one, see, oh, here, sorry, here. When first, I hope when after you have the MongoDB, I mean, the virtual machine set up, you see, you pay the money to Amazon or other place. Maybe I recommend to use Penn State virtual machine. Maybe Penn State has a little money from you. Then, first, you set up your Super user for your system because you can tell there you become super user or system manager of your server. After that, you can use the command. First, you know, update you know up, update your operating system. Then in, install MongoDB there. Here are some more instruction. Here I like just in the documentation I just summary all the useful command. Then do something like follow this procedure: how to manage your 
to link them uh, the, the database how to how set up the you know the port number or some kind of fix box up there then you have this one so you can start among these stories there how start uh our text status this one then you can start among the server uh, or the risk uh, shut down among the server or even the restart sometimes you, even you can also use the mongo from local pc accessing among db server and either user there either database there or something like that and this one i will not go very detailed so you set up some kind of user there this one so anyway if you want anyway you can avoid set up your mongodb virtual machine server i can help you if i have them further in me after come back you have some uh, uh, investigation you want and you are interested interest in install dftk you can do that way it's always a nice to recommend for the the server management then this part is oh anyway the old d2 part were right there in fact run something there either the user is here here that have to uh generate you see the two file for uh <clears throat> for the db json and my lunch I, I will not go there for the answer question okay i think uh, that's all for me today that's all for today i maybe you can if you have any need any help you can practice the one for but oh yeah you can practice now dvtk and also if you have any question you can you are please feel free to to ask me oh my window is blocked by this sharing stuff okay i'll go go back to the case here thank you for attending this workshop Hey, you are. Well, also. Let's go to home folder and create this folder. And then I'll copy this one to there. Again, I just need to close this file. This time, <laughs> I show an example how to prepare the, the structure by hand. In fact, I copy this one for more. This is just prepare, prepare the input for the Illuminico 3. I copy from this uh, script. This is just by Linux, Linux command. And I also need uh, about the settings because I mentioned we need two files, one settings. It's the Linux command. Anyway, you need to learn some of the Linux command to set up, to prepare the, to run the FTTK. This was supercell because this one is already cubic. Required us uh, using two by two by two supercell for phono calculation. Then that's all. Submit the job here. Uh, submit, say you want to submit jobs just from the Linux environment directly. Not by if you run here, you need using the punk, uh, you need some like something right, right here, run this one. But here, I just want to run this one directly because most cases we may, you may not use, use the notebook. You want to run this one in, in the submit job in the, the, the Linux environment. The submit because this is the option C, this workflow. Here in this case, I submit job to say run your job in multiple computers simultaneously. This is still in the project, in the in the developer state. So you find this is a postcard file here and launch your job to the workflow. Uh, 
oh, here you see I forgot one thing. I didn't set up the environment. So I should uh, use one place environment for the, because that one I just set up the environment by, by uh, notebook, but that one is not for the link, link one. Well, linked one, you just simply exported this environment. This one tell DFTK where to the Linux environment find where the configuration file that is stored. Then you can submit. Yeah, you have see in this time different from that one for directly for the general bus. But this one you can submit the job can run simultaneously in multi volume. For example, I show you that see what work check your workflow. You remember, LPAD is very useful. You see this one? So for this one, you can only run the all W means wait. Only after this job finish, you can have. <clears throat> they can submit, but this one means you can submit to job your multiple. So once you have, say you have seven jobs, they are ready already submitting your supercomputer, then seven jobs can run simultaneously, even on different computer. I saw somebody already created this. They think this one not by me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think this one. Okay, I think I finished all the examples. All right, thanks a lot, Yuan. I do have any questions from the participants here? Oh. Okay, now you can see that you can run on the Jupyter Notebook, you can run the terminal. And if you do the Jupyter Notebook, as Yuan showed, that uh, you can pre have all pre installed commands there, so you can just run the Jupyter Notebook. So you don't have to copy paste the commands in the terminal. Uh, also, you want to show the results he had. Uh, oh yeah, now yeah, Lumina Nikos 3 is finishing now. Two minutes ago, the results are finished. Uh, you see that one? And the uh, Lumina Nikos 3, right? That's in, that's really yeah, yeah, that, that one. I, uh, uh, I didn't write lunch job for, for the, you know, for the for the supercomputer. Anyway, they need a little bit, a couple of hours finish the calculation because the cure. Start. I just want to about the user see the result already in the base. You can practice, practice even in the terminal. Sometimes you you very convenient to check the result. In the Jupyter book, Jupyter notebook also the same. You could just type DFTK call the module. Uh, when, when before run in the terminal, you need to set up the environment because this one file basically see point to the configuration file. In fact, this is needed by PyMagin also automate. In here, they will share same configuration. Then DFTK allow, allow the folder to find the database, and user credential, and job sign submission, submitting. Here I finish okay. I for me sometime in the final step, some fix because temperature range high, but still this small bug I'll fix later. In fact, I here tell you about the, you know, this one just the idea of the calculation, same materials, you can perform many calculations. And how many phone volume do eight volume from the calculation? How many static calculation? Eight volumes. The one step here is about uh, six or four percent. And then super self size for the calculation. This one does some domain model you finish or not. Still, even see here show F, still can get phone result. By run DFTTK, you know, get a command. And here, finally, list what is compound, what symmetry, special group, and what kind of potential, change the potential. And sometimes, if this one is ferromagnetic, then show ferromagnetic, ferromagnetic. In fact, you see, I finished two, try two calculations, same calculation for aluminical three. Or oh, maybe this one, no, this one for random, the same, you see. But we submit two jobs. Sometimes you see this when you have lower set, uh, setup, lower accuracy, some highs. But sometimes you can submit always because the computer, I mean, this one, we don't design, uh, design any scheme, see, 
you already have this finish, you should not submit this one. But always, every time you submit the job, always the one line in the, you know, one more database documentation in the database. Okay. Great. So as everybody see that with this DFTK package, you can directly get the free energy of a configuration. You can two ways, right? You can divide model or quasi harmonic model. So you can, you can get the free energy function a, a directly after this calculation with plots. You want to show the few plots. A, as you can see that the plots is to the quality of publication quality figures. So you can directly input them into your papers. I, I think it showed one couple of plots. If you can just show one free energy plot, for, for example, Nico. Uh, I'm showing here if you can directly do plot even by here. I'm trying if it's work or not because I try if Gnu, if GNU plot you already installed here, usually it's already there. So we can just use when it's using go to data folder, then all the plot is there. Another way is to just plot the original one. If you, because many people, you know, actually use oh I don't I don't think we have GNU plot installed, right? We don't have, then we can use it. So maybe if it's very easy you can install GNU plot, but I will do not do it later right now. Maybe, oh, this one have the calculation, but maybe I can go to the materials there. Maybe I have some more finished calculation. Oh yeah, here it is. This is Alunico. This is just uh, before the workshop I prepared the, the I tried calculation. So whatever, many properties there. Some expansion coefficient for the Alunico three. The here actually for different properties, you see some people in the superconductor, they, of course, you need to set up a temperature range. This is something about the heat capacity uh, against temperature ratio using T square. Mostly it's just three curl. The cutting here means the you know, some kind of electronic contribution to the capacity, heat capacity. These two terms need to be sometimes compared to electron phone coupling for analysis. This is just for very narrow, lower temperature range. And this one, see. For the so called Grunis parameter, this one is the uh, oh, uh, yeah, the friendly. That's the doctor comments. So I will check here. Because, it's some... because you always have data, you can teach the data, can you export it to whatever tools you have? Uh, we have the one, uh, we have the one, if you know, the, in, the, in the table, it in the table form. The data there. This is this file. In fact, this table maybe the Linux. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, let's see if anybody else has any questions. So you can see that its idea is after these calculations, yeah. and uh, you get the awesome of the number of properties, the derivatives in the digital form, uh, in the uh, figure form. Okay, so you can you can do whatever you want. And, uh, and uh, also, of course, as I mentioned, you can directly input into your into your models. And also another thing is that you can take this data to further analysis uh, to for the properties uh, you would be interested. Of course, you have suggestions for what properties should be included. And you can email us and we can add those other properties in the system or if we need to implement new functionalities to calculate the properties, we will add them to the to the list to be implemented along the road. Oh. All right. With that one, if we don't have any more questions, uh, I, I see Lo has a question here. Oh. Okay, CP for element, okay. Yeah, we we believe so. Uh, okay, with uh, ask those questions that uh, actually there's another degree for complexity, which you, which is uh, we did for serial. We need to add uh, more configurations at high temperatures, uh, because yeah. there are some other configurations play important role at high temperatures. So to compare with the experiment uh, for the DFT, we have to uh, to include what we call the Zentropy approach at a finite temperatures. So it's important. The DFT calculation is for a specific configuration. But in the in when you experiment, you sample more than 
one configuration. I, I see Ursula had a question. Ursula, you can just unmute yourself, I believe. Yes, I have a more general question. Um, everything you do is basically open access. It's free, except for VASP. So the question is, why didn't why did you use VASP and not any of the other free DFT software like Quantum Espresso? That's a good question. Uh, Ursula, that's an excellent question. The reason we did uh, we used the VASP uh, was because uh, uh, when we started the DFT calculations about uh, 20 years ago, at that time, uh, VASP was the only viable choice at that time. So we continue to use that one. Uh, but now with DFTK in place, we believe we have the option uh, to actually uh, put a DFTK on all different tools. That's our, our, our plan. The next one is actually, as you mentioned, is Quantum Espresso. I think Quantum Espresso would be our next target to put a DFTK on top of it. Thank yeah, you. That's basically, yeah, that's basically we submit a job, you know, prepared some the file in the format of Quantum Espresso because what's saved in the database is fail, you know, the result is most necessary the one is the you know you will close that's by default also your output from quantum pressure on the phone now that maybe the phone or dental state then DFT can can handle post processing in the same way yeah that's the one I see you have some student then we in future or oh, I can have a student or oh, myself can work on that one yeah this uh, that's in our plan well that's Thank great you. Thank you, yeah uh, and other yes. questions? Do, do I see any hands uh, raised? Let's see. I didn't see any hands raised. And the, the chat is clear. Uh, I don't see any questions there. All right. With that one, I want to thank everybody uh, for participating. And uh, please, uh, well, if you get any chance, start to use it. And let us know your feedback so we can continue to improve it. And also, as, as I mentioned, that uh, a, a QE, is that it? Was, was it a QE? A timeline for a quantum expression. Oh, quantum expression, okay. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, uh, I think it should be pretty soon, uh, I think. Yeah, I think it should be, should be pretty, uh, it's pretty soon. The reason is because, as, uh, as you can see, that the uh, DFT cannot be pretty robust. A, a, and we have test actually everybody in our group using now. So the robust, so we want to make the DFT robust first, and then we can expand it to other tools. A summer conductivity is you need extra model for that. A, so uh, you just, uh, Are you implemented a, a simple I use a Slack model that start using the bad temperature? For the lattice thermal conductivity, for the other thermal conductivity is electronic thermal conductivity. You see, we implemented the Lorentz number, and we another package we call the Boltzmann trap Y. Now the another one, we have the thermal conductivity. We in fact we have a one just accept the paper. We did the fork there. That one can be part of the DFT key. Yeah, we have one another. Maybe I can share the. Yeah, maybe we can have the paper link there. We have the we have a link there. So the, I think this is a good question. But Rinda's question is very great. Uh, with this platform now, it's very easy to add uh, more functionality uh, to uh, to it. The reason is because uh, all these properties are coming from the uh, I call the energy landscape. So if you can get energy landscape, then it's possible to add uh, uh, all all other properties uh, on top of it. Yeah, for some this one we have another package I just have here about the electronic thermal conductivity. And also we have a paper just accepted by P Fix Ruby. This is just based on this one. Just accept it. I think I have the archive link there. But this one you can yeah, let me find that one. I don't know sometimes where it is. Yeah, and also because also because DFTK is uh, is open source. So we, we really appreciate the community can start to build other functionality on top of it, right? So you can, you can, you can, you can get a branch of it and then continue to develop. 
uh, of course, as uh, as you know, that we only now have the uh, have the VASP as a computer engine, but I, I think it should not be the uh, in the long in the not long distant future we're gonna have uh, at least uh, the quantum espresso uh, as part of the package. I know that uh, for example the code I I, I was experienced in Cambridge this summer, uh, airs they actually have to all most of the DFT codes can be accessed. So I think that should not be a big challenge for us. But please, if you, if you have VASP, uh, please start to use this one and give us feedback uh, so we can improve. Okay, let's see. Any any other questions, comment? You want just made two uh, links uh, there. One is for the uh, Boseman transport and another one is uh, the, the recent paper just accepted uh, we get it published. And the important thing is that uh, you know uh, we we did we we calculated the 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 divisivity use the DFT right in our early work, and now we have not implemented that one yet. In principle, we we can implement that one. So with DFT has another functionality direct calculate divisivity. Okay, so we we basically put all the structures in the middle. Then use one run to calculate the divisivity directly evaluate. That's also in our pipeline to be implemented. Uh, we have we have several properties. When you implement, uh, as you were mentioned, we have a C by coefficient, the Lorentz uh, number, and the uh, also Boseman transport. Not implemented DFTK yet. Could it be combined together uh, to do that one? Divisivity is one. I think you already implemented uh, elastic constants as function of temperature. So you can do elastic constant as function of temperature. Yeah, so after finish calculation, you want to go to uh, call the elastic uh, elastic uh, module, then basically some do calculation. Uh, you get uh, the elastic elastic uh, elastic module on uh, at each individual volume. Then the if you find the elastic constant elastic constants there automatically uh, produce the uh, get the temperature dependent of elastic constant of the you know the twenty one elastic constant elastic constant there. Okay. I, I see I see Richard put a good note there. If you can get engaged uh, with us and uh, contact us, we, we, we would love to have you join the team for the development. It's an open source one. That's, uh, as you see, NSF also strongly supports it. Uh, we hope we get a phase two to develop to a, to a bigger ecosystem. Okay, with that, uh, if I don't see any other questions, comments, again, we have our emails available. Please uh, contact us. Contact us if you're interested to work together. With that, I want to thank everybody for attending this workshop. I know some of you are in a very not late, not early in the morning now uh, in, in Asia. So we, we may actually start. We we are thinking to have a one just for uh, for Asian people a a, a, a time more, more suitable for them. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks everybody. Have a merry Christmas and happy New Year. Yeah, merry Christmas. Hi, happy New Year. Thanks to you all. Okay, thank you. Bye.